you know, I think this speaking on this market, um, because it's funny because it's a conversation I kind of had even with myself um, when you start to notice any type of slowdown or just you, you start to notice a little bit more resistance mm-hmm. kind of where you're going. And you got to kind of think about, like, why is this happening? Um, and you start to before you start having like a pity party. Right. You start thinking, OK, this person still being able to do stuff. This person still getting stuff done. So it's just me. Right. And so that's how it was for a while. But then you got to kind of dig deeper. And we always talk about being good at something, mm-hmm. you know, because what ends up happening is if you look at a lot of people who still are moving and going right now, a lot of it is pipeline stuff. A lot of it is long term uh, marketing stuff that they've been doing. Oh, so yeah. niche stuff, whether it be probates, whether it be pre foreclosures, uh, trustee sales, uh, stuff like that. They've just done it so consistently for so long. You have an actual pipeline. You actually have, you have an actual pipeline. And so when times get tough, it looks like they're still rolling because they did the work ahead of time. That's what, yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas if like with, in my company, we're doing a lot of cold calling and I'm kind of like, fuck, who's having a lot of success right now? Cold calling. Right. You know what I mean? It's there. No, like I mean, people, but it's pretty, it's pretty fucking tough right now. Cold calling. You know what I mean? People have success from it. But like, again, bro, like you're going to be talking to these people for years. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, so, cause like you'll that. talk to, I remember talking to leads that were deals immediately, mm-hmm. but then you're fucking just kicking the ball forward. I had a lead come in yesterday. Not even a lead. Um, I had a lady, uh, give me a call back. I've been trying to reach her since the end of December. Right. Um, and she'd been going back and forth on it. Kind of like, Oh, you know, she, she's not really trying to make the commitment. We knew it was a long time nurture type thing. Um, she'd been trying to reach me. We've been touching her from both ends from two different companies being a partner. We've been touching back and forth with her. Um, and she asked me kind of what was it that I had offered uh, previously, told her what that was. She's like, that's good for me. And I was kind of stumped. I was like, whoa, OK. You know, I'm like, so, you know, is this something that you were looking to move forward with? And she's like, you know, yeah, it's, it's time. And so instead, of, instead of jumping on that, I was just like, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I was like, I'm kind of confused. I was like, you know, you might be asking, you know, what's changed in between last time I spoke to you and now? Because previously, when we talk about this, I, I met with a lot of resistance. Or just a lot of reasons to why uh-huh. you're not ready to move forward. Instead of just like, okay, cool, let's, you know, I'll just kind of answer that question. And she's just like, you know, there was an event that happened in her life. And she's like, I feel like a lot of things are just kind of up in the air and just a lot kind of going on. A lot of things that just aren't settled that I'm ready to settle. And she's like, and I've been trying to get a hold of you. Um, I've been pushing people off. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's like, my son asked me, you know, hey, mom, you, you know, you've been saying you want to do this, this and this. Like. You know, you need to, you know, do this. And she's like, I already know who I'm going to sell it to. She was like, I just got to find him. She's like, what do you mean you just got to find him? She's like, well, you just go handle that. I'm going to handle this. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what she told him. You know what I mean? But, like, she, like, was, she wouldn't sell it to no one but me because we, I, I've spoke to her for so long that, you know, it, it really, it, it came down to an, a relationship. Bro, that, that's really what, like, pays off. Pays but that off. was, like, I mean, we've been talking to this lady for, like, about a year and a half, maybe almost two years. And that's what it's so people that are doing deals right now, a lot of it is long term pipeline type stuff that's closing. So don't get discouraged if you're right. cold calling out there and you're not seeing instant success or, you know, whatever it may be, because I'm going to say it from my point of view. It is tough right now. It is tough right now if you're just getting going, but just keep going because it's going to be tougher for someone else later on down the road. And it's going to look like you're doing so great, but it's going right. to be because you've built that. pipeline. Well, all these well, the people get going. Stop. Cause I we even tell our clients, bro, like it's gonna take you ninety to one hundred eighty days to like close one of these. Yes, yeah. like because we're not we're cold calling and verifying, but it's not cold calling. It's cold calling, bro. It's not yeah, like we're just super hot leads. leads. Yeah, like, yeah. We're, like, we're prospecting. We're, yeah, we're prospecting, generate you leads, mm-hmm. and then we can help you build other systems to like build it out better. But like, bro, like you got ninety to one hundred eighty days. Yeah, this is what I say. Like, if you can get it done sooner, awesome. Like, I'm not gonna set bad expectations. Yeah. But I mean, cold calling, I'd say, has a really long turnover time. Direct mail has a really long, well, direct mail to get a return has a long turnover time. But when the leads come in, they're hotter. They're typically hot. Right. Yeah. They're hotter. It may be a while for you hear from them. They're like, yeah, I had, a, I had a postcard. It was sitting right here. I've had it sitting on my refrigerator, you know, posted on my refrigerator. You know, it stood out to me a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now's the time. I'm like, oh, shit. All right. Well, what's the time? Let's go. We got, then, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then PPC. We just start, we're starting a PPC this week. Okay, that'll be and that'll be. Um, I think that'd be good because that it's right now money because mm-hmm. I think you need to have a mix. Yeah, 
I think you need to have a mix. And it, it gets tough, too, because, I, you know, we were dabbling with something else, too. And so it's one of those things where sometimes they're courses. You know what I mean? And so you got to take your attention off some stuff sometimes to sit through these courses. And um, I know that's something that you could possibly do in the, in the nighttime. Um, but the problem is, for one of them that I'm doing, I got to communicate with people. Um, yeah, that's a really hard one. To, to be able to get things done. And that's typically during our business hours. So it's like I can go through the course at night. But the stuff that I need to be requesting to move forward is during working hours. Can you do it via email work. or no? It's all it's all via email. But at that point, it's it's looking at what they're sending. It's you know analyzing it. So I mean, it could be something that I can have a VA do. To be honest with you, 